Okay, by no means this this was not uh, one of those pretty wins, but you won, right? No, it's kind of an ugly, mucky win, but uh, you know, the first period we gave up some chances on turnovers, but we got a few chances, and we got a, I think we only had maybe three or four chances in the first period, and a couple of them were A chances that we capitalized on, so kind of got us uh, got us going in the game, got our feet under us, and I thought we got better as the game went on, but still still a little sloppy, but uh, you know, Louis made some good saves, and we found a way to win. A couple of big penalty kills here tonight, that's been a problem of late, right? Yeah, I mean, just we were solid and it didn't give up a lot of good chances and when we did Louis was solid in that so those are uh, things that hopefully boost the confidence of the power play or the penalty kill. Your captain looked like he had a little something extra tonight. Did you sense that? You know what? We didn't play very well last night. We weren't happy the way uh, things went down. There was a lot of frustration from that game and come out today and we, you know, it took a while but we kind of figure out which players are moving uh, a little better than others and then when you find that rhythm we were better in the game and he was one of those guys. You just mentioned Brendan Perlini, you might not see it on the score sheet, but how big of a game did he have? He was pretty good, you know, he's another one of our young guys that's he's learning on the fly here and there's there's going to be some hiccups and there's going to be some mistakes in the game but on the other side of it there's he brings some positive to it too and that's all our young guys right now. There's you know, you can't get too critical of mistakes. They're they're learning by some of these mistakes, but you get uh, they keep learning, keep growing, and that's what we're all about right now. With the way the week went, though, it was kind of fitting that Shane had his fingerprints on this one, set the tone to yeah. pull the group to end on a good note on no, this trip. It was good. Yeah, he was. I mean, he was one of the guys I know was frustrated last night, and, and you know, he's uh, that's the leadership he brings. He wants us to be better, and our situation isn't great. With uh, you know, but this is where we are in the season. He wants to make sure he's doing his part and leading, and uh, and showing these young guys that. There's still lots to play for. It's been a tough season for him, Dave, but he still can show games like this, flashes yeah, of how involved he can be yeah, in setting a, up goals. Yeah, very much so. He made two two real good plays on goals and then got rewarded with an empty netter, so it's a good night for him. Did you get any read on Anthony in a game like this? Uh, a little bit. He, I thought he skated pretty well early, but you know, third period didn't get a lot of ice time, so we'll see where it goes. You said it was a mucking win, but at the same time a more positive way of looking at that is the six and nine nights uh, doing it under those circumstances at this stage in the year makes it even sweeter I think yeah you know we we've got a lot to play for and our and the schedule is what it is and we I mean, you can talk about that all you you know the cows come home but we still got to play we got to grow and that's where every day we show up and we're trying to improve we're trying to push players and like I say, it's not just young players, it's our veteran players that are pushing to make sure they set a good example. So wins like this, are they're not pretty, but a win is still a win. Race them back to Phoenix now? Yeah, it's a race back to Phoenix so we can get ready. Yeah. <laughs>